What's going on guys, it's Cooper Codes. In this video, we are going to take a look at some of the new features that Superbase has just announced. This includes Superbase AI, which allows you to more easily create Postgre SQL databases by using a custom AI built by Superbase. On top of AI helping you build out your Postgre SQL databases, there's also a brand new schema visualizer, so you can see how all of your different tables connect to each other. These updates simplify the process of developing Postgre SQL databases, especially with Superbase, and throughout this video, I'm going to show you guys how you can use these tools throughout your development process to create databases faster. Before we dive into these features, I want to make an important point, and that is that this AI isn't going to save your life if you've never used PostgreSQL before. So if you're a complete beginner and you're expecting to have a fully developed PostgreSQL system just by typing in queries to Superbase AI, then I suggest learning more about PostgreSQL before diving into making a bunch of AI requests. The good parts of using AI tools like this so far is the fact that it gives you a great boilerplate to start on and you can fix any errors that it comes with or anything that you need to build specific to your use case. Now we can get started by going over to superbase.com and building a project for us to test out these features in. To get started here, we can go over to superbase.com and go to the dashboard in the top right. If you're not logged in yet, do that and eventually you'll reach a page like this. I'm a coding YouTuber, so cut me some slack for having all these random projects, but we're going to want to create a new project in the top left by just pressing the new project button. I'm just going to use my own organization here, so Cooper Codes Org. I'm going to name it Superbase AI Database, then I'm going to generate a password. You can copy this and save it somewhere else. Now let's go in here and just create the new project, everything else looks good. So remember guys, for a new Superbase project, it is going to take a second to start up. So if you go in here like a minute after trying to put in some SQL queries, it might not work. So just keep that in mind. So now Superbase has been fully set up, which is great news. We can go over to the left and then go into the SQL editor. So it's this little command prompt looking thing and just press on that. So now we're inside of the tool that allows us to create SQL queries to then change our tables here. If you go over to the table editor, you'll see that Superbase gives us a completely blank slate, so we have nothing in here right now. So let's jump back over to SQL. In this video, I'm going to develop something completely from scratch that I haven't even done in advance, and I'm going to see how Superbase AI allows me to create databases. So one thing I'm interested in outside of coding is watches. And so I'm going to go in here and see if Superbase can create a watch database. So at the top of your page, you're going to see the little green prompt to put in the Superbase AI queries. Having experimented with this for around an hour, I can tell you guys being specific is going to help you out the most here. So I'm going to ask it to build a watches table with columns for the reference number, the name of the watch, the size of the watch, and then importantly, the creator slash company behind the watch. And then we can press enter for a query like this. Superbase AI is then going to give us a very basic watches table on the right here, which I'm going to accept. Now that we have the code to create the table, we can go to the bottom right here and press run. We will get a success, which is great news. If we go over to our table editor, you'll see we now have a watches table with all those columns. And an interesting thing is if we go over to the database tab here, and then we go over to schema visualizer, we are going to see the watches table that we just built. So now that we've developed the basic table of watches, let's try and see if we can tell Superbase AI to go to the watches table and create an external key that's going to reference a company table, for example, so you can get more information relative to a certain company. So we can go over to the SQL editor. And an important thing when you start to use your own context is go to this gear icon on the top right. In order for Superbase AI to recognize that you have a watches table, for example, you need to go to your organization settings. So we can open up this link here and press opt in to sending anonymous data to open AI. So once you've done that, we can press save right here and you should get a successfully saved settings, which means we're good to go. We can go back over to the editor and you're going to see it allows us to include anonymous database metadata. And now we're good to go because now the AI can recognize the tables we already have in our project. So I'm going to ask it something a bit more complex. I'm gonna say, build a company table with data such as the date the company was founded, the name of the company, description of company, and I'm just gonna leave it at that for now. And on top of this, I'm going to give it a more advanced command, for example, adjust the watches table so it knows that we have that watches table because it has our context of our project now, which we enabled. And I'm gonna to say to have a key pointing to a certain company in the company. What did I say? I said company table. Yep, company table. So it's kind of a complicated query, but let's see what this ends up telling us. 
All right, so it looks like it actually gave us something that makes sense for us. So we can accept this change. It's creating a table here where the company has an ID specific to it, which is great news, a date founded, which is what we asked for, a name, a description, and also a constraint for the company primary key. And then under here, we can see that it's altering the public.watches. So public.watches is that table we just made before. It's adding a company ID column, which is going to be a big int. And then it's creating a foreign key for the company ID that's referencing the public.company. And because this is within watches, that allows us to reference a certain company based off a certain watch. So let's run this command here. We're going to get a success, which is great news. And now we can look at our table editor to see what it's done so far. So inside of the table editor, you'll see that we have a company here with all the data we'd expect right here. And then also a watches with all the data here. At the last column of our watches table, we can see we have a foreign key company ID, which is referencing a public.company.id. These references can be confusing for beginners, but the visualizer gives us a really good idea as to what these look like. So we can go over to database, go to schema visualizer, and as you'll see, the schema visualizer gives us a significantly easier way to understand what's happening here, is we can create a watch and it can have a certain company that it's pointing to. One thing that Superbase AI also allows us to do is create some fake data for our database. And so that can kind of be like a nuisance task. That's not really like software development, you know? <laughs> and so we can go over to SQL editor and just tell Superbase AI, create a fake watch company and fill it with data. And I'm just going to say like, make this an SQL statement. So it knows what to do beyond that. So this is really cool because what it's doing is it's doing an insert of values into our company table here. So we can accept this change and it's giving us a simple insert statement with all the different values we'd expect. So it's kind of funny. It said fake watch company. Fair enough. So we can run this command. It's going to be successful and we can go over to our table, go to the company here and we can see the ID has been generated here. The date founded has been generated here, the name, description, etc. And so now I'm going to do something interesting here. Inside of our SQL editor, I'm going to tell it to create a watch that references that company. Create a fake watch. I'm going to say this. Create three fake watches that reference, I believe we called it fake watch company. And I'm just going to say make this an SQL statement as well. I don't know if I have to do that part, but it's worth putting in there. All right, so I'm going to go in here and accept the change. It looks like it's doing pretty well. So it's a simple insert statement where the values are separated by commas here. And so you can see to get that external ID that it's referencing, it's doing a little select statement inside of here. So for these values where you see the select from where, this is getting the value for the company ID. So it's saying, get us the ID of the company where the name is fake watch company. And so if we run this command here, it's going to give us success, which is great news. So if we go back over to our table editor here, go into watches, you're going to see all these different watches that got created. So the fake reference number, the fake watch, medium, etc. And then the interesting part is it's actually referencing that external ID. So you can see the IDs that watches themselves are one, two, three, but the company is always just going to be one, 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 because it's referencing the company over here, which has an ID of one. And the amazing thing is you can see that visually within the schema visualizer is I have a certain watch and the company ID is going to point to a certain company. To take this out of the Superbase world and give a practical example for developers using this is let's say we had a watches store. Inside of the watches store, you could have all this different data about a specific watch which you show on the page. And you might want to have it where when you click on the company behind a watch, it brings you to a company page. And so a company page could show you all that different information right here, where it could show you the name of the company, the description, when it was founded, maybe even an image for a certain company. These AI features that are being developed by Superbase are really interesting. The fact that you can put in AI queries and it references the context of your entire database you already have. For example, we adjusted the actual watches table in this video. The features that Superbase has built here are really powerful, especially for people that are just beginning their development journey and just starting to use platforms like Superbase or writing PostgreSQL. So this is a shameless plug at the end of the video. If you guys appreciate my content and you're looking for concise coding news, kind of the similar way to how I do coding videos, I would recommend you go check out my service called Code Letter. Code Letter has professionally written articles that give you a concise snapshot of what happened in the past week of code. So if you're a software engineer who always wants to stay up to date, that's my main service here is I'm giving you guys a great way to kind of stay up to date with code making it so you don't have to scroll Twitter or browse Reddit all the time just to stay up to date with the latest coding events. So as always, thank you all so much for watching.